quantum computers could one day solve some of the world's toughest problems. And they'd do this by working completely differently to a regular computer. Information is stored in your laptop in bits. Every bit is either a one or a zero, up or down. But quantum computers are made of qubits. Unlike bits, qubits can be a mixture of one and zero at the same time. Quantum computers are made of several entangled qubits with all their states connected together. But actually building a quantum computer is a challenge. In normal computers, it's easy to add more bits. But for quantum computers, the more qubits you have, the harder it is to add one more. This makes it tricky to scale up from a simple quantum computer to something more powerful. Another problem is that quantum computers have to keep their qubits protected. Too much interference from the outside world and the entanglement is broken. But overcoming these challenges and building a powerful quantum computer would come with big rewards. Take searching. Imagine you have a bunch of mixed up business cards. How would a computer find the right one? A normal computer has to look through one by one until it eventually finds the right card. But a quantum computer has a trick up its sleeve. Because the quantum computer is in many states at once, it can search all the cards at once. After several sweeps, it finds the card. And quantum computers could help tackle all sorts of other problems, like modeling protein folding and cracking data encryption. But even if scientists can one day build a powerful quantum computer, it probably wouldn't be useful for everyday tasks. So don't throw away your laptop just yet. To understand how to enjoy the fruits of quantum computing now, let's dive into a quick refresher of what quantum computing is. Classical computers run on bits, which can either be zero or one. These zeros and ones come from the absence or presence of electricity in the wires of your computer's processor. The computer does calculations by manipulating these zeros and ones. Now, quantum computers run on qubits. Instead of being based on the existence of electricity flowing through wires, qubits are based on quantum mechanics, the set of laws governing the behavior of molecules and atoms. Like classical computers, Quantum computers can manipulate zeros and ones, but they can also manipulate more sophisticated states, like the combination of zero and one at the same time. Because quantum computers aren't limited to just zeros and ones, they're able to answer questions far too complex to calculate with even the most powerful classical supercomputers. A quantum computer could examine, for example, exactly how a drug molecule might interact with your body. While there are many types of quantum computers, the most general are called universal gate-based quantum computers. These computers can solve a wide variety of problems, from chemistry and physics to finance and math. While classical computers are told what to do using a programming language, quantum computers use a special kind of programming language, Quill. Quill unlocks the states beyond the zeros and ones and makes gate-based quantum computers programmable. You provide a quantum computer with a list of Quill instructions and it executes them. Quill lets you use the power of quantum computing in synchrony with existing classical computers. The great strides classical computers have made in the past century are not lost by using Quill. Classical computers can talk with quantum computers running Quill with shared memory. Basically, you've got your quantum computer and your classical computer, and whenever a qubit turns into a zero or a one, it drops into shared memory, which your classical computer can use to perform a calculation. When the classical computer has finished a calculation, it can put a zero or one back into shared memory, which the quantum computer can use. This interplay is called hybrid classical quantum computation. 
Now, the implications of this sort of computation are immense. It helps us bring near-term benefits within GRASP by taking advantage of all our best computing technology. Rigetti Computing is building the first universal hybrid classical quantum computer. The benefits of these hybrid classical quantum computers are nearly endless. They can help make better pharmaceuticals, broaden our understanding of nature, or plan the perfect route for cities full of automated vehicles. Using Quill, classical and quantum computers form a symbiotic relationship, allowing solutions to extremely hard, expensive, and impractical to solve problems to be brought within our reach. This is Google and NASA's Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab. The processor is a quantum computer. Quantum computing power can be used for image recognition, machine learning, problem solving, breaking encryptions, and finding the most optimized solution to problems.